Hello and welcome back to High School Story Book 1, Chapter 10. In the previous chapter, they gave us three premium choices, which is a lot, and of which I made two, of which the first one, hanging out with Caleb, was probably a waste. Truth be told, we didn't really do anything. But I figure we can't go through this entire game without spending diamonds on Caleb once. So that was your once, Caleb. We're probably never hanging out again. Sorry. But in this chapter, we're going on an investigation to catch the person who vandalized Ollie the Tiger. I've worked my way back up to 21 diamonds. If there are any interesting premium choices, then we'll make them. If not, I'm perfectly content to hold on to my hard-earned diamonds. Maybe Vice Principal Issa did it to get Principal Hughes fired and give her top spot at the school. Ooh. Do you believe the Hearst students? Yeah. But they probably still played a really big role in this. Consider the culprit caught. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but why me? Because I'm the main character? Only because it's you asking. Yeah, okay. It wouldn't mean as much without you. It'd probably mean the same, but might as well flatter her. Maria smiles, blushing a bright red. Oh, look at us. <laughs> what am I doing? We should really get back to the task at hand. I agree. Do you want anyone else to help us? Probably. It probably would. But who can we trust? Anyone could have done this. I mean, you're student council president. I feel like you would know everyone as well. Michael's too close to this, we can't afford to have him on our team. At a tutorial, guess what? You're gonna have to spend diamonds if you want anyone else to help you. They're too busy with school, you gotta bribe them with diamonds, otherwise they just won't help you out. That's how it works. Sorry. Just stick with Maria. The two of us are enough for this mission. We can't trust anyone. I mean, if you want to give us the diamonds to spend, Maria, I'll happily have another person on our team. We're splitting up, really? If I were a clue, I'd hide beneath a tree. Probably not. Unless I was a kite, and I don't know why one of the clues would be a kite. In the trash can, under a table. I mean, if you were a clue hiding in any of these three places, you'd be a pretty bad clue. I'm guessing the trash can, because hopefully we can count on whoever vandalized the statue to be inept. We're literally digging through the garbage, alright. Of course, they disposed of the spray can in a public garbage. That's embarrassing, truth be told. Morgan used us to decorate the homecoming. Is Morgan pissed that I didn't 
rent one of the costumes. Is this what is happening? Oh, so we're checking all our bases anyway. Um, I guess under a table. It's a, it's a notepad. A notepad missing a page is a <laughs> exactly all of our. We're at a school. Everyone has a notepad. What are you on about? <laughs> a crumpled piece of paper. Mm. What does R say? M, don't forget, deal, pay. Maria, is this your doing? You're avoiding the question, Maria. I feel like you, you did this. Her hands are covered in red paint. <laughs> You've been caught red-handed. <laughs> I love it. We can't leave campus during school hours. In the original high school story games, you could never leave campus ever. Unless it was during a quest, then obviously you were allowed off, but... Otherwise, your students just wandered around the lot forever, which was really cool, until it got over flooded. Then you had too many people with not enough space. At the nearby park. <laughs> okay. Obviously. Join our- Mia! There's so many M's I didn't even think about Mia. I was thinking of Mira, Morgan, and Maria. Wow. Well, she would do it because you didn't visit her in the hospital, you knob. She used to go there, her brother's captain of their football team, and her dad's principal. That's true. No, Mia would not... No. I would say, I'd say Mia wouldn't do this. But the Mia I know was always supported and cared for by MC. And Oliver really doesn't care about Mia, not even enough to visit her in the hospital, so. If I could act, come on. Why'd you, oh, Maria, come on. I don't think I know. I don't think you know, Maria. Judging by the evidence, I have my doubts. Wait a back. I'm sorry, but... Exactly. There's no way on earth I'd be able to hobble around and spray paint Ollie. There is a way, but yeah, it would be hard. Wes probably already knows who did it. 
He's gonna charge us some diamonds or something <laughs> to reveal the information. Diner, 10 minutes after the final bell, grab a booth. Okay, a bit dramatic, but sure. He's making us wait, huh? He has to check if we weren't that we, he has to check that we weren't followed in. <laughs> We're not wasting our time. He's going to show up. I'll bet that West did this to mess with us is just running late. Look at me, ever the optimist. Ever heard of punctuality? That's one way to look at it. That information will cost you dearly. What's it worth to you? <laughs> Did I not just predict that happening? Out of the kindness of your heart, come on. It's just bad for business, that's true, you gotta know West. All things come with a price, what can you offer? Stick of gum, 51 cents. Some pocket lint. <laughs> do you, I don't know. Do you th I can't think of any of these three options working. And I also think that all three of these options are insulting, so. A chewed up pen cap is probably what he wants most so he can get my DNA and clone me. Or sell it to some mysterious underground organization. Do you want my pocket lint? A ticket to homecoming at 10 cents. All I can tell you is look at Louise. <laughs> I'm glad my pocket lint contributed enough. Is Louise bitter that I didn't attend the LAN party? I feel like... I feel like this chapter is just dedicated to all the people you haven't hung out with. Next thing you know, Aiden's gonna be the culprit. In the computer lab. Good of you to finally show up, Oliver. Thanks for coming to the LAN party. <laughs> Legends of Clancraft. We better not disturb him. Maria's gonna unplug the computer. Pull the plug. I, I wouldn't want to do that. Your clan name is Barry Knights? You've named yourself after the school? Really? Did you spray paint Ollie the tiger? You're our best lead, so... <laughs> I'm glad Maria believes that so easily. Someone connected to him. It was Emma! <laughs> Emma did this! To get back at Caleb. Uh, well, Sakura and Nish. Well, Louise just said Sakura and Nishan were busy all day. Maria. I mean, Maria does start with M, so that would be that would be a pretty funny accusation to make. Emma. I don't. Hmm. I feel like Emma's response to being rejected by Caleb is just. 
being sad, not being angry or spiteful. Would we accuse Mira? I mean, no. I mean, we don't actually really know who Mira is. She's Nishan's cousin. That's about it. Her name does start with M, and out of this list, her and Maria are the only ones with M, so. And she is close to Louise. If Wes were to have suspected Emma, a more dramatic way to have told us would have been to say, it's one of your friends, right? Because Mira is not one of our friends. I guess we gotta accuse Mira. She's your best friend after all, and her name begins with M. Does it doesn't really make sense, but but she never got online. Fishy. And her face drops. That was a a very quick. I'm very happy that Mira conceded very, very quickly. Paint Ollie or else Luis gets it. Who do you think wrote it, Oliver? Yeah. All roads lead to Hurst. That's the truth. Alright, Maria. Maybe you should be a little more compassionate and understanding. It was a lose-lose situation. Do we have to do it, Maria? I also don't believe M Mira at this point. If they ever threaten Louise again, I'm fairly certain that you're going to do the same thing. I feel really bad for Maria because I'm just second guessing all of her decisions. But. We can keep your secret. Yes, Maria, we can. I mean, I don't think it was a one-time thing, to be fair, but... I also think... That we're a... I also think that we're a family here, so... <laughs> Join the homecoming company! <laughs> That's your... Are you blackmailing her at this stage, Maria? Probably the latter. Both. Definitely both. Okay, so now we officially know that it's Hurst. I feel like we already sort of knew that beforehand. What are we gonna do about it? Probably nothing. This is how we get our revenge on Hearst High. Tonight. Look at us. Mission by night. I love it. We pull a heist on Hearst. I feel like Oliver and Barry High probably already did that. But. And run into an unexpected visitor. Who could it be? Could it be the MC? Who's graduated? That would be so cool. Although, I guess we could d determine how a look as well. That'd be nice. 
I doubt this game pulls from save data from the high school story game itself, but if it did, it would be pretty cool to have my MC show up. That's chapter 10. We're almost there. Alright, that was pretty fun. But Maria and I make a good team. We got to the bottom of it and we spared Mira. I really wonder if we had told on her, would she have just held a grudge and transferred to Hearst and sabotaged us or something? Probably wouldn't have been good for school spirit, I can tell you that much. But now that we've kept it under wraps, hopefully that decision doesn't come back to bite us. But next chapter, we will go on a heist and I am pumped. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching.